Hey guys, what's up? So I went to the Switch release last night and obviously I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I picked up. So obviously got the system, I went with the gray unit. I didn't really have much choice at the time because when the pre-orders went live, well, that was the only choice. All right, and then I got three games also, obviously Zelda. And then I got Super Bomberman R and 1-2 Switch. I'm not super keen on 1-2 Switch yet, um, not, even, even not having played it. I just don't have high hopes for it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and rather than do an unboxing, which you can see on like every single video everywhere, um, I think I'm just going to skip that and go to the setup process. Um, if there's anything worth noting, you'll see it there with me. Hey guys, I guess I lied a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this thing with you guys just because I know you can see it anywhere else on the internet and you probably have by the time this video hits. But I just wanted to make sure to do this because this is my first time seeing it and yeah. All right, so that's, that's what we got here. It's definitely smaller than I had thought in my head. Um, see all right lifts out so i've got cables and the the joy con grip and stuff in there okay so let's take this thing out well um there's the switch itself um not not bad it's it's a it's a good weight but you know it's it's thick obviously like it has to be there's just no way around that but it feels pretty good screen size seems good um in a minute here, I'll try to compare it to the uh, Wii U gamepad. Now, Mark had some concerns about the Joy-Cons being too small. So here's Joy-Con. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic just yet. Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's small, but I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't feel cramped to me. Maybe, uh, maybe with long sessions of Mario Kart or something, it will. But I don't know. So far, it, they definitely are small. They're really tiny. But um, yeah, I don't think it'll be that bad. So we got an HDMI cable. I, I don't know if you guys actually saw this. I'm not sure how my camera will work at the moment. So anyway, here's the HDMI cable. Whatever. I've seen all those before. Uh, power adapter, which is USB-C type. Keep that in mind. That's pretty awesome, actually. So you can really just... I'm going to probably double up my phone's C-type USB just for that. Alright, here's the grip. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. So here's the Joy-Con grip. Pretty cool. Uh, smaller than I thought, too. Um, interesting that Mark and I made these comparisons to the Sega Dreamcast controller. When this, I have a feeling, is actually quite a bit smaller. Um, I guess that's not bad, though. So, all right, let's see what else we got here. All right, so we have the, uh, I can't remember what they call this. It slides on top of the Joy-Con grip to give you actual L and R buttons. Instructions. And here is the dock. I almost forgot about the dock. How could I forget about the dock? I don't know. Let's see this thing. All right, so there's the dock. Looks nice. I like this matte finish on it. It's not not glossy at all and pretty cool. Um, two USB ports on the side here. You probably can't see it on the camera, but there's the USB-C type connector in there. Um, a little light to show you when you're on the TV, apparently. It looks like that anyways. Let's see. The lid pops open. And we got the inside. I'm going to try to position this so you can see as much as possible. Um, so we got the HDMI port there and USB. And a USB-C for the AC adapter. So really interesting. Um, it's it's kind of heavy. Like, I have a feeling it's just weighted. I don't think there's anything actually in, in this dock at all. I literally really feel like it's just a transfer unit. Um, which kind of debunks all the feel feelings we had on whether or not it could have like uh, cooling for the system or anything like that. I don't think that's the case. I 
really don't. It's too light and it feels like it's just weighted so that it doesn't slide around on your table. So anyway, I said I was going to compare this to the game pad. I want to be careful with it here. So obviously, it's the system outside of that. Got power, volume, game cards, headphone jack, and I am going to attempt to actually uh, try out a regular pair, a regular headset through this jack if there's anything I can play online, and just see if voice chat just works like it should. Because I know they talked about that phone app and stuff, and you know, I just want to know. So here's the kickstand. <clears throat> Not as flimsy as I thought based on a video I saw, but it definitely isn't high, high like, uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna take a beating, let's say. There's a micro SD slot. <clears throat> I do want to note, I have decided not to get a uh, micro USB or uh, micro SD card because I honestly don't think it's worth it. Maybe, maybe down the line when we actually have you know, more games that are big, but as it stands, it sounds like most games are just, just uh, like a gig or a couple gigs in size, if even that, in, in some cases. So I just didn't feel like it was really worth it right now. I'll wait and uh, hopefully be able to get a 256 gig later when the price comes down. So, there's that. Now, for screen size comparison, here's the Wii U. And the switch. They're almost exactly the same size. Almost. I mean, they might actually be, but pretty damn close, anyways. Then you got thickness here. You can really see the switch is obviously much, much thinner, but that's to be expected since the gamepad is kind of Fisher Price in its <laughs> in its appearance. <clears throat> Now the Joy-Cons obviously are going to add some to that. Okay, it does snap snap in very nicely like, like I've heard. Alright. Alright, so there's the full switch system. I gotta say, it's pretty snazzy. And then here's the Wii U gamepad. So yeah, the, the gamepad definitely has a Fisher-Price thing going on in comparison. Uh, looking at it from the side, like yeah, it's definitely bigger and bulkier. Though I gotta say that the gamepad is probably more ergonomic. I, I just have a strong feeling there. Um, yeah, these buttons are real small. I'm curious to see how this is going to work out when used as a D-pad. I should know later by the time this video goes up. Uh, analog sticks, they're pretty good. I think they're an improvement over what the Wii U had, if only because their edges are raised a bit, kind of like the PS4s. Um, I do wish that these were analog back here, but it is what it is. So anyways, let's move on to uh, setting this thing up. All right. I'm going to tell you guys before I turn this on that I'm probably going to have a few jump, jump cuts. So that I can reposition the camera, but uh, anyway, aside from that, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. All right, let's. There's power button. I don't know if you have to do this on the TV or the gamepad itself. So, oh, not sure just how well the screen is, how viewable it really is, but I'll try my best to make it visible here. All right, let me get my password in here. I gotta say, right now, the buttons feel so good. They're so clicky. It's kind of that normal Nintendo thing, but... Yes, I will actually connect to the TV. Because I have a feeling it's going to be a whole lot easier. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and dock the system. Push the little buttons on the back. Hold the Joy-Cons off. That works out pretty good. Wow, that that rumble already feels weird, and it's just the haptic feedback. Okay, I just got to make sure that the input's on the right one, and it's not, of course. So there we go. 
All right. That. I do apologize for the off-screen video, but I didn't want to do any uh, video capture just yet. I want to make sure everything's working. Okay, got all that. It's kind of funny, like, yeah, I, I did all this or else I wouldn't be on the TV right now. All right, for future reference, or for the rest of the video, just know that I am playing on a 4K TV. Uh, I will say the scaling on this TV for 1080 content is very good. So, all right, well, obviously I gotta go to the link. And I'll just use my name. Gotta say, I'm really liking the controller so far. It feels really good. Let's get that. Don't need parental controls. Home. All right, here is the menu. And I know there's a system update, so I kind of wanted to cover that because I think that that's going to be a, a big thing. All right, here we go. Okay, so it unlocks network features, lets you share your screenshots to Facebook and Twitter, opens up the eShop. All right, so, oh, has an option to automatically turn on your TV when you dock the switch into the dock. Cool, all right. Oh, and it said happy gaming on the bottom there. I guess we have to change the tagline mark. Now my internet uh, is a 200 meg package. I ran a speed test just this morning and it was sitting right around 180 for some reason. Kind of low for, norm for what it normally is. Usually it's more like 240, but either way, any downloads will be affected by that for sure. All right. Did it really update already? Like, that's it? That's kind of amazing, actually. <clears throat> Let's see what the news thing is. It's just that, it's news. All right, kind of tells you how to use the thing, and yeah, whatever, Don't care about that. Album, controllers, system settings. Let's see what we have here. Airplane mode, I don't really care about that. Interesting. So there is 25.9 gigs available. Like I said, I don't think that you're necessarily going to need it right away with this. I kind of thought so at first, but it doesn't seem to be necessarily the case. Eh, I don't know. Let's try black, the black theme. Um... Okay, don't need sleep mode or nothing. Okay. Yeah, and it does allow up to 1080p. Okay. I do gotta adjust the screen size just a touch. There we go, that's better. Okay. Really? Okay. I guess that's just when it's in tablet mode to use the uh, stereo sound there. Okay, so that should be all good. I'm going to head to the eShop. I got some games to buy. <clears throat> I got to say, this process is um, a whole heck of a lot more simple and fast than the Wii U's was. <clears throat> Granted, with the Wii U, I was actually transferring all my Wii data over to it, so that took a while. 
All right. Now, I don't know if I remember my stuff. So anyway, I'm going to cut here and then uh, enjoy the podcast. Um, I will try to get some impressions of the games I do have. And thank you for watching, guys.